Hey everyone, I'm Tony. And I'm Kristen. And this is... Absolutely Stubborn. Stubborn. Take it away. So, the new uh, controversy on Twitter is Jake Paul. So, apparently people are calling him out because he wrote something about anxiety. It says, um, he deleted the post, so you can't see it now, but it says that... He says that people have the cure, the power to cure anxiety themselves. Um, and then he later accused people of clowning his comments and claimed to be spreading awareness about the issue. So people are thinking that he's just saying this because now he's trying to, you know, he got caught saying something that was not really the right way to say it, I guess. Uh, because then later he kind of goes into saying, um, Everyone clowning my tweets, but it's now spreading more awareness about anxiety, which I didn't even know was a thing till I was 18, but had it my whole life and never knew how to deal with it. If you think you have it or want to deal with it, try reading this. And then he links you to this um, article about how to cope with anxiety. So now I think he's just trying to make cover, it, himself. cover himself and make it better that he said people can just, you know, be happy and just, you know, the anxiety is in your head or... Um, some people are saying like there's one that's like uh, your your tweet is spreading bad information about anxiety because it's it can stop people from getting help uh, when they need it, which is right. true because you're you're famous. A lot of people follow you. You have you're an influencer to a lot of younger people, and anxiety. There are so many people with anxiety out there that you don't even know because I talk about it all the time on my Instagram because I suffer from anxiety, and if I ask. Have you ever suffered from anxiety? I guarantee that 90% of my followers <laughs> that have commented suffer from anxiety or have suffered from anxiety at one point in their life. And it's not something that you can just, uh, I guess somebody said that he, he said that it was um, how you feel about yourself and that you need to love yourself. Yeah. If it was that easy, <laughs> nobody would have anxiety. It's, that's just not, I think, you know. I think, uh, so, so to be devil's advocate, I think maybe he, th he might not really suffer from it. Or did he say he did? Well, now, after they deleted, he deleted the other post. He says he, he does. He posted uh, about this article about anxiety, yeah. um, saying that he suffered, he, he suffered from it at 18 years old and he hadn't realized that he had suffered from it his whole life. So, he says that he didn't even know it was a thing until he was 18, right. but had it my whole life and never knew how to deal with it. Deal with it. So, so now he's trying to cover saying that he suffers from anxiety, which, you know, it could be. He could, he could suffer from anxiety and maybe went about it the wrong way. Um, they deleted the post, so I can't see the whole entirety yeah. of the post. It does sound like he's covering. But it sounds like he's now trying to cover it and be like, oh, I suffer from anxiety too. That's not what I meant. You know, I'm trying to spread awareness. And, and wow, everybody's talking about it, so it worked. No. So originally, it sounds like he doesn't suffer from it. And maybe he's just telling. Because I remember that that would happen to me where um, I dated a girl who had panic attacks. And I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, like just get over it. But obviously, it's not that easy. Um, but that was a real because I never suffered from it. So for me, like whenever I heard somebody talking about panic attacks or anxiety and stuff like that, I'm like, just it's just get over it. It's just it's just in your head. Um, but the older I got, you know, the more I saw about it, and I think um, I have felt it before. Nowhere near to the degree of what other people have or or what you've told me. It feels like so. I think. I think for those that don't really suffer from it, it's easy to say, hey, you can just get over it. But uh, having seen people actually go through it, uh, I know it's not that easy. So I think that might be his original perspective, that it's, uh, yeah, it's just like it's in your head. You, have, you can have the mental power to get over it. Right. Just like a lot of people say that you can have the mental fortitude or to just have the, the willpower to get over depression. It's so, I'm sure in some cases that's, that is possible. But in a lot of cases, it's it's better to get help. You know, it's better to go out and seek help, uh, whether it's just talking to someone, whether it's therapy, whether it's uh, uh, even if it's medicine, um, whatever it is to 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 help with it, whether it's anxiety, depression, any kind of mental uh, disease or health issue. It's just 
it, it's not, I, I feel like that's the old school way of thinking. Like my dad would say stuff like that. <laughs> my dad would say like, oh, it's on your head. Just, just get over it, you know, man up. Um, I've seen it before. I've had um, a friend who suffers from anxiety and her family was just like, oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You don't need medication. You don't need this. And she's like, no, like I am on medication. I've been going to a therapist and it's helped me a lot. You know, there's nothing wrong with being on medication if you have to be. I personally don't like to be on medication if I don't have to. But if I have to be, I have to. Like, that's just the reality of it. Sometimes you can't cure it using natural um, things or you can't um, just wish it away. Yeah. You know, I've had anxiety since I was little. Um, as far as I can remember, being probably seven years old. When my grandmother passed away, I, and I remember to this day exactly how I felt. And ever since then, I've always had anxiety. It's just, and it's increased and, you know, it's gone up and down throughout my life. And then after the kids, it's gone up a lot. Um, but it is, it's a mental illness that people need to be aware of. And people just like to say, oh, you know, just be happy. Just, you know, it's in your head. It's it's not, it's it's something that people can't control. And that's yeah. what people don't well, It's kind of like what he says here. Um, let me switch. So it says here, yeah, that, that he basically says anxiety is created by you. Right. So, uh, but here's the, honestly, why are we listening to Jake Paul about this? Oh. Like, why does, it's not like he's an well, authority on it. Yeah, no. It's, it's just that I, he has such a reach that, that well, I understand. Well, that's the whole thing. And that's why people, I mean, it's so many comments. Um, I understand, but at the same time, it's right Jake and and Paul. That. I understand that it's just Jake Paul, but because of the fact that he is an influencer, I mean, like, how many followers does this guy have? It doesn't, I mean. No, but it is. Because he has, I'll tell you now. When millions. He He's got millions of people that follow him for sure. He has 3.7 million people. Okay. That is a huge influencer on who knows how many young people no, that's that just follow on him. And that's just on Twitter. That follow him. Yeah, and but there he are says. People, there are people out there that when they see a high figure like this and they really, um, I don't know what's the word I'm trying to find. They but idolize them. Like idolize them. They believe it's true. So like like one commenter was right. You're saying this and then somebody who may need to go get help is now like, oh, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't really be saying that I have anxiety because, you know, they, 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 they'll perceive it as it's a bad thing. Yeah. And it's not a bad thing. It's it's absolutely normal. There are so many people out there that suffer from anxiety. There's so many famous people that suffer from anxiety, from depression. And, um, you know, people out there are not alone in this. But when you say that, a lot of people think it's a bad thing. You know, oh, then it's a bad thing to talk to a therapist or it's a bad thing. You know, it maybe it is in my head. You know, so they start thinking these things. And, that, you know, unfortunately, when you are an influencer and you have a lot of followers you need to be careful about the things that you say and the words that you use because there are young people out there that are listening to you and might believe that what you're saying is true and yeah but i mean is he even like 22 he's like 20 I 21 i understand what you're saying i yeah. definitely understand what you're saying and you're not wrong but at the same time it's like to put such such pressure not pressure but just why I don't know. I, I just don't see why. But why people even make a comment out? Why even make a comment about it? He's twenty three. Is he? But isn't his brother like twenty four? Uh, unless there's another. Or twenty five. The one the boxer there's guy. Another Jake Paul. What's the other one? Ron Paul? No, not Ron Paul. <laughs> Ron Paul's a politician. Um, uh, Jake Paul. George Paul. Maybe no. there's another Jake Paul. Chris Paul. But anyways. Chris um, Paul. No, it's a basketball player. Yeah. No, he's twenty three. There's a. Who's his brother then? I have no idea. Is this the boxer or the... Yeah. He is the, the boxer. One. Well, YouTube star become boxer. Uh, mm -hmm. Became boxer. That's what it says. Logan Paul is the other one. This is his brother. No, Logan Paul's the... Well, he's a boxer too then? Well, anyways. Uh -oh. There's <laughs> the older brother who I <laughs> think is is Logan Paul. He He's the one that boxed uh, KSI. Yeah, no, it says Jake Paul YouTuber turned boxer. Yeah, but I think he did it after his brother did it. Okay. But anyways, either one. It's just these guys are YouTubers. They're not physicians. They're not some sort of oh, a... Oh, of course. And, and I know what you're saying. They talking about it because they're not physicians and they're not experts. And it's okay to um, 
to talk about it if you're trying to help people, which is what he's trying to say now because he's trying to turn it around. Of course. But the fact is, is that he has over three million followers, and that's a lot of. People. I know, but that's like if we, if if I follow LeBron James and he says that. You can cure cancer by just believing it. Imagine how many people are going to believe him, though. <laughs> but that's ridiculous. <laughs> it, that should ridiculous, be on them. But it's ridiculous to you, and it's and, and it is a little ridiculous because, at the end of the day, um, you know, you need to do your own research and you need to speak to a specialist on, on whatever it is. But um, at the end of the day, he has three over three million followers, and so he can express his thoughts. So what if he really does believe that? Why can't he express that? Yeah, I mean, he should be able to. Everybody has their. If opinion, you're, but... if you're, you know, gullible enough to to fall for it, then that's. I don't know if that should be on you or. I think it should be. I think you you should be. It's not that it's gullible. It's that if you're suffering from anxiety or any other type of mental illness, and you're listening to these people, it's not that you're gullible, but. You're in a sensitive state of mind, I guess, and so sometimes you kind of just believe what other people, especially if you're idolizing this guy or you know you're a big fan of his or whatever, and you're listening to him. It just it just might affect somebody that has it. It shouldn't because you should do your own research, like I said, and go talk to a specialist. Um, and but. Not everybody's that strong. Not everybody is that strong. Yeah, to... but why is that his fault? Well, he should so be he... saying things that he doesn't know anything about. Well, everybody says things. I mean, the whole his whole persona is that he does a bunch of stuff. Do you, do you remember he was on a he did something with Post Malone and he went to his house and it was kind of like out of nowhere. Oh, was so this he's, him? I think this yeah, is he's him. A little weird. So it's I'm not that he's weird. weird. It's just that well, people him, follow that, that him. Was weird. Well, it's <laughs> yeah, that whole act is yeah. weird, but it's. It's just his thing. That's just shtick, yeah. or what do you want to call it? It's, maybe he's doing this for for more publicity. He has three million followers, and now look how many people. I don't follow this guy, but now I'm looking. I don't at know. His if that's Twitter. what it is. I think he just <laughs> might. I think he might believe it. Like I, at one point in time, I thought that, and I could. I might have tweeted yeah, and it. And he is 23 years old, which is not to excuse his um, his comments, but. You know, he is young, and maybe he, he he doesn't know much about it, and he made the comment. So yeah, I just listen. I I would I do that comment? No, and I just think that it doesn't mean that somebody like if he truly believes that, I don't see why he. It's not the right. You're right about the whole. You know, there's young people that that may not, or not even young people, just anybody who might yeah, see him as an influencer. And uh, and and just take what he says as gospel, but then, dude, you're listening to Jake Paul. It's it's I just know, but... uh, to me, it just doesn't make sense. I feel like why why do we tell all these young people or like Justin Bieber? You know, which by the way, he looks like he does he look... look like Justin Bieber in this photo. Real quick, when I looked at him, I thought yeah, he does him. look like Justin Bieber there. Yeah. Um, so. It just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why do we put so much, you know, pressure and, and value into what these people say? It's just, it, to me, it doesn't make sense. If it was Dr. Phil that said that, then I'd be like, holy crap, well, he's a, a doctor. Is he? Well, I don't well, know. He's is he a, a doctor? He's a, I don't know if he's a psychiatrist, but he's a doctor. Dr. Oz? He's a doctor, Dr. right? Dr. Oz, yes, he's a doctor. Or is it just like a, no, it's like no. Dr. Dre? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Dr. Dre is a Dr. PhD. Dr. Dre could not, should not be getting. Um, uh, no. <laughs> but the whole thing is, uh, whether it's Dr. Dre or Dr. Oz, if they say that uh, you can get your anxiety and um, and whatnot just by, uh, you know, just by thinking of something else or whatever, then that's a different case because... I do um, believe that the power of thought is very strong. Mm -hmm. Um I do my affirmations, and when I'm when I'm having anxiety, I try to change my thought process to being positive. Because at least with me, when I have anxiety, it's a very negative feelings, which is probably most people, uh, which is what's causing the anxiety. So I do believe that trying to change your frame of thought into something positive helps a lot. It's helped kind of relax my anxiety a little bit. But everybody is different, and the extent of everybody's anxiety is different so that doesn't apply to everybody but I do find that that is helpful for me 
Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, he does have a lot of... I think, unfortunately, it's it's being a celebrity at this age and time. It doesn't matter um, how old you are. You have this much exposure. You have to mature faster. Yeah. You actually you have to almost be forced to mature at a faster rate because you're in front of so many people and, and things like this will just eventually wake them up. Um, I think he'll just learn from it, but I don't think it's... I mean, I, I know that he what he did was not correct. I just think that, first of all, again, Jake Paul shouldn't be listening to that much. You know, yeah, he's entertaining, but it's not... It, you shouldn't be tuning into Jake Paul to get your uh, your your medical. Yeah. So speaking info. of devil's advocate, because you're kind of you always kind of try to see both sides. Somebody did right. So while I think that he should do more research before speaking out about mental health, we also need to acknowledge that there are some people who find this tweet helpful. So that is true. Maybe some people do find whatever he said helpful. Again, I did not see exactly what he wrote, uh, but I do think that, like you were saying, um, you kind of need to grow up a little bit and be a little more mature. If when you're so young and you are in the public eye, just because saying things like this does affect people, and you need to yeah. to realize that. And so, also somebody was somebody said, um, I don't know where it is now, but somebody said earlier, like, look, you said what you said, just at least be like, my bad, <laughs> and move on. Like, don't try to uh, pretend that you know that wasn't what you meant. And and it's true. Like, be a man and apologize for you know maybe not you know, saying it correctly. Maybe he meant to say it in a different way. I don't know. Uh, but I feel like you have to apologize for too many things nowadays. Mm-hmm. Like you have to apologize yeah. for everything. So you can't well, say anything. she wasn't saying like, say I'm sorry and do this. Public. She was just like, be like, my bad. No, but it's almost like that, <laughs> like that lady that we saw. It's like, stand up and apologize in front of me and in front of everybody. Oh, yeah. But it's that like, that okay, is, so. That's different and you'll see that, that video next week, guys. Yeah, that's, stay tuned for that one. Stay tuned one. for it's that a, one. Crazy, crazy apology. <laughs> Demands an apology. Um, yeah, there's a few people here at the fan. It's just, I just think that you, if the, he really truly believes that, yeah. I mean, that's that's his perspective. Um, I also see how people who do, like, they do have that issue, that condition, and they're, for sure, there's going to be people that, that take what he's saying and, like, and just go with it. Uh, but if you really do have a medical issue, some sort of any kind of mental disorder or anxiety disorder, whatever it might be, that requires uh, more than just going out for fresh air and being positive, then yeah, you need to, don't take anybody, not not just Jake Paul's, take, only listen to qualified people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Licensed> <laughs> only listen to your qualified. doctor, your physician, you know, whoever yeah. it might be. Don't listen to anybody online. Don't Don't Google to see what can be done. I'm sure sometimes you can get some okay information off of Google or searches, but it's just not the right. If you really truly have a condition, get help. You know that's that's the best way to do it. Don't don't try to find uh, an answer on a tweet by an entertainer who's yeah. 23. So it just to me that I don't know. Yeah, I, I, definitely. Um, being somebody who suffers from anxiety, I'm not going to take it personal because I think that there's just a lot of people who are uneducated out there. So, you know what? If this tweet exposed people commenting to him about what anxiety is and is spreading that awareness, then, you know, at least it's going in that route. And he's the one that's going to get the backlash. He is getting the backlash Turn on it from a lot of people. I so, guess. Yeah, but somebody wrote, damn, all this time, all I needed was some sunshine and a tweet from Jake Paul. Hello, serotonin. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Um, But yeah, so. This other guy goes, I just screamed, be happy in the mirror 12 times. Hasn't worked yet, but I'm going for 13. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going for 13. Yeah, if it was that easy, guys, everybody would get rid of their anxiety in, in one second of saying, you know what, no. No anxiety. I'm happy. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you see, so this is the younger brother because, let me see. Oh, yeah, because he wants to go after KSI next. Yeah. His brother, Logan Paul, is the one that fought KSI. No. So anyways. Well, whatever. whatever. So Jake Paul just, you know, research I don't know. before. I don't see it. I don't see this research. being that crazy. No, see, but... now it would have been okay had he said, 
I think that, okay, him saying, you know, go outside, get some fresh air, um, try to be happy, that's fine. I think those are positive things that you could try to do if you have anxiety. But I think that the main thing that was not so good was just saying that, that people have the power to cure their anxiety themselves. If it was that easy, again, yeah. I agree. wouldn't have I agree. anxiety. So that's that spoken, comment, that's that spoken comment, like someone who doesn't suffer from right, it. Right. That comment is the one that I think got people riled up because go, go outside, get fresh air. That was positivity. That was positivity to me. Yes, I think it's good. Go fresh air. Actually, when I've been stuck inside all day and I get some fresh air outside, I'm like, man, you know, I needed to actually come out and get that fresh air because it's, it is good for you, some vi- little vitamin D. But that's not going to cure <laughs> uh, your anxiety. But it, it can be helpful. So yeah. I think that was fine. It was that one saying about yeah, I agree um, that people can cure themselves and that it's like on you. Like that's not yeah. you know. But again, well, Jake Paul. Try not to uh, get on people's bad sides. <laughs> People will forget about it, I'm sure. And yeah, he'll still have three point something million followers. Listen, man, just donate. You know, if if it really becomes that that much of an issue, just you know, apologize, get create a movement, <laughs> and donate if you can towards the cause, and you'll be fine. But uh, yeah, I guess at the end of the day, everybody just. Think before you tweet. Yeah. Think before you talk. Think before you. You know, do especially if especially if it has to do with um, like some like health, any kind of health issue. You just never know. It's just better to be cautious, and you never know who you're gonna hurt. It's just, or it's good to be especially with somebody like that. that it's true. They about. they might have a. They just have a reach, and sometimes like little things, like thinking positive, like what you said. If he would have just said something like think positive and do this and do that. If that anxiety, is much better. You know, try to do this to try to, you know, yeah, that would have been yeah. different. But saying it was that one little thing he said, and yeah. that's all right, what Jake. People, so have uh, try not to be too crazy with your tweets, and uh, <laughs> I guess we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one.